Okay guys, so today let's see this ophthalmoscope. So as you know, this is ophthalmoscope and I'm just going to tell you the different parts of this ophthalmoscope. So this is the first part. So what it does, it is uh, helpful just in switching it on, switching it off. That's the function of this part, right? Second is this part. So once it is on, so to adjust this number here, to adjust this lens, this dial you have to use. So if you move it, you will be able to see different numbers. But always make sure it is on number zero, right? And the third one, there is another dial here. This you have to be very careful, this one. So when you move this, you will be able to get different, different settings of this ophthalmoscope. I'll show it to you now. So as you can see, the, now the light is off because you will be doing this exam examination in a dark room only. So switch it on, switch it off. Here you can just set it on zero. Now, the setting I was telling you, this one. So when you move this dial, you'll be able to see different, different settings. Small moon, a bit bigger, biggest one, colored, slit, plus, and again the small moon. So for the exam purpose, what you can do, you can go with the middle full moon, right? So what you have to do now, let's see how you hold this ophthalmoscope. So how you hold this ophthalmoscope is simple. You hold it like a mic, right? You hold it like a mic and you can put your index finger on this dial here. This is the perfect way of holding this instrument. Make sure if you're checking the right eye of the patient, you're holding it in your right hand and you're checking it with your right eye. And if you're checking the left eye of the patient, you will be holding it in your left hand and you'll be checking it with your left eye. Please do not make this mistake. Right, 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 left, left, left. Now, let me switch off the light. Now, so why I told you to put it on middle full moon? Because before we check the fundus, we need to check the red reflex. So what we do in the red reflex, again, we'll be holding it in this way in the right hand like a mic. And as I'm checking the reflex in the right eye, so I'll be holding it in right hand, right eye. And I'll be roughly at one arm distance from the patient. Right, and I'll be able to check the red reflex. There will be a red dot that you'll be able to see in the patient. Eye. Okay, so after we are done with the red reflex, so what we have to do, we have to check the fundus. So same way as you're checking the red reflex like this, so what we do, we go close to the patient. Right, 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 left, left, left. So you go close to the patient and you see the fundus. Other hand, maybe if you want, you can put on the patient forehead. Right, and whatever you see in the fundus, you can verbalize accordingly. So that is how you do fundoscopy.